Maybe we should get our own shirts. <laughs> Maybe. I, was gonna I can say TV. mine can say L and yours can say S. And we can have an ampersand that I hold in the middle. Like they had those at Home Goods. <laughs> no. I don't like that idea. I'm L and you're S. Still don't like that idea. God, we'll just, work on it. We'll work just, on it. This All is right. free advertisement for you. We love you. <laughs> hey, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Whatever time of day you're watching this, I'm Stephen Hayes. This is my lovely wife. Lauren. This feels like a little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Like a little rascal. <laughs> we are SNL, and you're watching Thriving Thursdays. Thursdays. Cue the music. Hey, welcome back from the music that we just did. We just want to let y'all know we are excited to have you here. This is not sign language. Us. Again, I'm S, and this is. L, Stephen, and and <laughs> can you not do all that flippity floppity? That's not even, it's like sign language, but not. Just start over. That's too much. You're doing too much. <sighs> Hello, good evening, and good day. I am Stephen. This is my lovely bride, Lauren. You need a top hat and a, and, a, and, a, and a monocle. And you are watching <laughs> Friday Thursdays. You need a top hat and a monocle the way you're talking. Get some flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> no, like the peanut man. <laughs> okay, here uh. we go. Hey, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> Epic fail. And Which that's what good. we're talking about. That's right. Today, we're talking about <laughs> Failure. Feeling like a failure. That's it. We're talking about feeling like a failure. You failed to say the right topic. And I didn't like really five feel times. like a failure. But there's times <laughs> in my life where I felt like a failure. I'm telling you, we're trying to be real. Times Relevant. In life? Relational. Isn't there times in everyone's that life else. that feel like that? <laughs> the church. <laughs> The church is feeling like a failure? No, no. Oh! <laughs> the real, relational, and relevant, you just said that. Yeah, from Revolution Church, that's okay. right. Anyway. That's where I got it. I know I heard it somewhere. Try again. Today's topic is feeling like a failure. Yes. I finally got it right. And if I feel like if you haven't felt like a failure yet, then you haven't it's lived. It's coming. <laughs> Oh, I was, I was going to say, you haven't lived. You know, I mean, everyone in their life at one time or another, I feel like, feels like a failure. Yeah. It's part of life. It is. Failure is a part of life. You know, if you're trying to achieve any kind of goal and you're working hard at it, like, there's going to be things that are going to trip you up, that are going to slow you down, and there are going to be times you have to adjust or change your goal. 2020 is like the, the, the example mm -hmm. of, like, the world of, hey, pandemic hit. Businesses failed. People failed at goals, and had to change what they were going to be doing. So I mean, it, it just it, it's part of life. And so we thought it'd be important to address in season five, episode three, baby. We got three. Feeling of them. like a failure. Feeling like a failure. So I'm going to talk from experience. I'm going to get real with y'all. Go ahead and zoom in on this mug right here. Get the mug. Go ahead and zoom in. Zoom in. Listen up. I see you. I hear you. I don't understand everything that you're saying right now because this is one-way communication, okay? I can talk, but I really can't hear you. It's not real. Um, what I want to say is feeling like a failure is real for me. I've been there. I've, I've struggled with it throughout my life. Several different things have gone on. Uh, for example, I'll give you a more recent one, like with having kids. Um, didn't really feel like I had the, the best example of a father. so. Feeling like a failure every time I, I did something that I thought should have uh, should have been uh, I should have been able to do for my kids. Um, 
I felt like I was failing them as a father. And so that was really hard for me to handle. And it still is, because it's not like they're grown and on their own now. Like I'm still dealing with things on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why I'm, these topics are relevant, because we know that we're not the only ones that struggle with these things, not the only ones that have kids or struggle with failure at all in any part of your life. Yeah. And so we want to make sure that we, we are here to meet you where you are. Um, we're here to share our our experiences or in this case in my failures or where I felt like I was a failure um, and realize you know you're more than what you do you're more than your mistakes yeah. you're more than bad choices that you've made you're more than your past that God has created you to be more than where you are right now and it's, it's up to each and every one of you individually to to look to God and, and find where he's wanting to take you, what he wants you to do, what your purpose for life is. And for me, um, feeling like a failure, I realized, although I felt that way, it wasn't the reality. And although I'm constantly having to, to be reminded of that, whether it's my wife or someone else, someone I confide in, or if it's, you know, just within myself that I'm able to, to be reminded of that, or God reminded me through um, reading the scripture, it's, it is something that I have to constantly be reminded of because I want to try so hard to succeed as a father and I want my kids to do well, better than I did, to have you know things better than I did and have more options available to them. And so it's important to, to make sure that when, you know, when feeling like a failure, I guess I'd say the number one thing is, it's important to remember that it is an isolated incident. It's a failure. It's a feeling, feelings come and go, feelings change, um, but it, it is an isolated incident. So don't get stuck on that, I, that failure. Learn from it what you can and then apply that moving forward so that you hopefully won't repeat that failure over and over again. I mean, I don't think it's just fathers. I think if you're a parent, you experience failure before. There's like hashtag mom fail, like, you forget something that you're supposed to bring for your kid to like a game or for school or something like that or something you said you were going to do but um more than just learning from it i also think like it's going to happen again like i'm going to forget something for the kids again it's just part of being human and i try to write things down now but um sometimes i think their failure happens because of the expectations we put on ourselves as moms um as a mom I feel like you you know you have a lot on either you take on maybe the world expects of you and then what you expect of yourself what your family expects of you and you know you're balancing maybe a job and family and you know a hundred different things you're juggling it's like juggling plates and you don't want to drop anything but like something <laughs> usually falls because it's too much to hold so I think readjusting is a good way um, and then trying not to see it as a failure necessary or trying to see your failure as a like um a lesson a learning point right because you know they're going to happen you can either learn from it and get better get better or get bitter i heard someone say that it's a sermon <laughs> get better or get or become bitter by things that happen um so i think that's one thing to think about and then i mean um we're talking about a book failing forward i think is by John Maxwell. John Maxwell, yeah. So there's some stuff about there, and I know you'll hear different people talking about that kind of stuff and like the mindset of someone. I think we talked about this before in um, what do we call it? Not perseverance. One of our other um, episodes, we talked about the difference of people like that, like win in life. It's like you know, like Michael Jordan, how many yeah. times. Did he fail before he finally won the championship game? Yeah. Yeah. Or like, you know, it's like practicing and keep pushing and pushing and, and doing so just as much as you can in whatever that is. And um, so. Yeah. I mean, what when we're addressing like the feeling of, uh, of, of failure, not just the, the task of failure, but the actual feeling of failure, um, like I said, you know, recognize that it is, it is just that. It's a feeling. Um, it's okay to feel that way. And what we want to make sure that you understand is we want to make sure you don't get lost in that feeling. You don't want yeah. to stay in that valley of, of feeling like a failure. Um, right, because those voices can tell you, you know, that 
takes you down a, a path of like you're you know you can't do this or whatever and then it's like the self-doubt and all the other stuff yeah you can bring in a self-doubt like and fear fear-based uh, goal setting where you, you're you're yeah. afraid of, of aiming high for a goal or know, achieving something <laughs> great because you're yeah. afraid of failing um, yeah. and to that I'll be like I want to say don't be afraid to don't fail realize that failing may be part of your journey but don't be afraid to fail if you were afraid to fail then you wouldn't be able, we wouldn't have astronauts if we were if, we, if yeah. everyone stayed afraid to fail we, you know we wouldn't have half um, the things that yeah, we have really we wouldn't have like know, a lot of testing and like trial to find things vaccinations exactly stuff like that but um yeah and i think that's also like um a foothold for like just as in our faith for uh, self-doubt negative self-talk yeah like all these things that can tear you down and then it could be just i think used like against you it's kind of like if someone knows that you're that's your thing they can kind of feed into that and from a christian standpoint um an enemy can use that for the enemy can use that for tearing it down or use that like using your weakness so and then I feel like it's also a thing of like um, you can never achieve your potential if you're stuck in that you know fear mindset of uh, being afraid because you won't try you won't try too much you'd be in the safe spot because I feel like um, you have to be brave and you have to be like willing to fail in order to get better because it's not safe right it's risky to succeed because um, otherwise I think there'd be a lot more people like successful or doing what ex exactly they dream of if people if it was an easy thing it's not easy yeah. so it, it does it takes risk uh, it takes um, tenacity perseverance you know some things we've talked about in previous episodes um, overcoming complacency look at you with these words <laughs> oh, these are also previous episodes that you can watch <laughs> on Thriving <laughs> Thursday. Yeah, completely. check out our playlist. Yeah, that was like a what would I call it? A five thousand dollar word. Oh uh, yeah, like, where yeah. we had the words. Anyway, absolutely. Um, but yeah. yeah. When it comes to when it comes to feeling feeling like a failure, um, like I said, we we see you, we hear you. Once you understand that, we don't want you to stay there. Oh, you know, yeah. the, the, the valley is a part of your journey. You're going to be going up to the mountaintop. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to be coming up out of that, that valley. And and although there are going to be times when you may fail and, you know, you got to you gotta dust yourself off or get a get a good uh, network around you that that will come back and encourage you, help you learn from whatever your failure was or wherever you made failings. And then be able to, to, you know, be resilient. It's another one we talked about, resiliency. I was going to say something. And bounce back. Oh, Go ahead. So I think something that's helpful for me is, um, like, I'm very encouraging to my friends and stuff. So sometimes if I think about, um, like, what I would say to them, but say it to myself. Like, if your friend came to you and was like, oh, I'm failing as a mom, or I'm doing this, I'm not doing great at this. We would encourage, if you're a good friend anyway, <laughs> encourage them good and point. give them, you know, encouragement and ideas and you help like lift them up. And so, so we don't always do that to ourselves though. We tend yeah. to be hardest on ourselves. So instead think about, you know, when I'm doing that to myself, trying to think of if this was my friend in this situation, what would I tell them? And then try to tell myself that. And that can be kind of helpful. Some more positive self-talk. So. I like that. Yep. So overcoming and actions. Oh, I'm sorry. I was oh, going to say overcoming the <laughs> feeling like a failure. One of the things that you would recommend is try to find some yeah. positive self-talk. How you would help someone else? Yeah. Because you would talk to them in a positive way and then reflect that back at yourself. <laughs> um, good citizens, uh, even within our own faith as Christianity, um, we want to make sure that we are doing the best we can to treat others with kindness, and that includes ourselves. So it's not that we can't have a feeling like a failure, or that we can't feel like a failure, but the idea is that we don't want to be stuck there. We want to make sure that we find a way to recognize the feeling, 
have that moment and then find a way to progress okay. out of use it. Use it to propel you yes. to the next Learn from the failure. Thing. Yeah. Learning from falling. Yeah. And that's how you learn when you ride a bike. I fail plenty of times, but if you don't get back on the bike and keep trying, you just stop trying, then you may not never learn to ride a bike. So learn from those failures, falling off the bike. Is that that's why my mom can't ride a bike? I don't know. <laughs> so Thank you again so much for joining us on Thriving Thursday. We're going to leave you with keep thriving. All right, keep thriving. Keep we know thriving. it can be tough out there. We know that this pandemic has made things challenging in 2020. But please keep thriving. And we look forward to seeing you next week on Thriving Thursday. Boom. Yeah. Here we go. It's Thursday. 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 Let's go. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we drive. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we drive.